Hey everyone, it's Jonna and I wanted to tell you about some Jordana products I got. I got some eyeliners and some lip liners and I was pretty excited about them. And then one other product that's from L'Oreal Hip that was like on crazy sale and I don't know why so I'll tell you about that too. Um, first of all I want to talk about these Jordana eyeliners. If you watched my last Ulta haul which I'll put a link to so you can if you haven't already. You know that I was after these prestige total intensity eye pencils that were coal eyeliners that I had found at Ulta in the past but this last time I went to Ulta they didn't have anything called total intensity by prestige so I bought their other coal liner um, and I asked the gal that worked there if they'd be the same thing and she said yes and in fact they were not. They were not nearly as soft or blendable they were just like a normal old eyeliner like not like a coal liner should be. I was at Walgreens today. I was just there to buy some fingernail polish remover. See how that happens? 99 cent fingernail polish remover. And what happens? I end up buying like every color of eyeliner that they have from this brand. These eyeliners are $1.99 a piece. And I was asking the girl that worked there at Walgreens like, have you tried these? Are they soft? Are they hard? I mean, like, what are they like? And she was like, well, let's just open one up and try it. So she was awesome and she let me try one and it was really soft so I bought like every color. Um, Alright so first color I have here is Espresso. This is what it looks like just a nice medium to dark brown. Oh so creamy. I'm so happy that I found another cheap pencil that's so creamy. This is the Espresso color here. The next one is called Parisian Plum and this is what it looks like a nice purple that one's not quite as creamy and it looks kind of brown not a very vibrant purple but whatevs it's pretty soft it's that second one right here I don't know what's better close or far away as far as getting washed out by my light so I'll do both sorry the next one is called Green Gables and here it is. Ooh, that's pretty. A nice olive with a little bit of a shimmer to it. This third line here. Pretty color. The next one I have is called Cool Aqua. And beautiful medium bright blue color. This is the one I got to try out in the store and I was like, oh yeah, I'm buying them all. Look at that gorgeous blue color there. So, really excited about that. And the last eyeliner is Cougar Brown. And I'm going to swatch this for you, for you, but this one is going to my mom. It's too light of a brown for me, so it's going to go to my Cougar of Mama. This one right down here. And then I got two of their lip liners that were also $1.99. Um, they didn't have all of the colors in stock, but I got what looked good that was there. And this one is called Mauve Silk. And that's really pretty. I think that would look really pretty with my Viva Glam 5 lipstick or any sort of mauve medium pink lipsticks. This one here. I don't wear a lip liner on a daily basis or all that often, so I'm not going to buy MAC ones or expensive ones. So I was really excited to see these so I could play around with them, and they're just as soft as those eyeliners. Um, the other one I got is called Hot Pepper, and it's a pretty true red color, I think. Oh yeah. So if I ever get feisty feeling enough to do a red, red lip, here is a red, red lip liner, and it's also very nice and soft. Then I also saw this, and I already have two other felt tip um, eyeliner pens, but I'm like a liquid eyeliner whore, so I can't resist. This one was up at the counter for $1.99 again. This is Jordana In Color Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner Pen, and I just unwrapped this. I haven't even tried it out yet, but for $1.99 and me being the eyeliner whore that I am, I couldn't resist. Um, this is what the felt tip looks like, and let me experiment here not bad. It draws a nice precise line but the felt tip isn't so hard that it makes you drag along or anything. 
this looks pretty nice. This is the black line I drew with that. And all right, I will talk about the L'Oreal hip item that I got and then come back to this eyeliner and do my smudge test. Every time I get a new liquid eyeliner, I have to let it dry and then rub it to see how much it takes to smudge it. So the next thing I got was a cream shadow paint in the color Commanding from L'Oreal Hip. And these have been compared to the paints by MAC. And this was on sale for $3.19. And these are normally $11.99. And I was really confused because um, I saw the $3.19 thing and I was like, oh my gosh, and I was going to get a bunch of them. But then I looked and it's only this color. Every other color is $12. This color is $3.19. I don't really get it. But this color is called Commanding. It comes in this little thing with a little miniature brush that comes with it. And it calls this a custom application well right here. I guess so you can put some in here and get it out. Whatever. I think I'll just use my fingers. But I don't know. $3.19 for this much of a good paint or a base is worth it in my book. So I picked it up because I've never tried one of these before. I've never had a MAC paint either. I think this would be a really pretty base for pink shadows, brown shadows, purple shadows. And the texture is really nice. I put some of this on my hand earlier and it just dried like super soft and powdery. So yeah, it just feels really smooth on my skin. And now that I think that this has dried, let me see here. Going over it, going over it, going over it looking good. It smeared a little off here to the edge, but the black color stayed intense, so I think this is a good little eyeliner pen for two dollars. So, there you have it. Let me know if you tried out any of these products and what you think, and I will see you soon. Bye guys. I also had one more question I wanted to ask you guys. This has like nothing to do with anything about these Jordana liners or pretty much anything I've been talking about, but I really want to try out some false lashes and play around with those, but every eyelash glue for strip lashes that I've came across contains latex, and I have a latex allergy, so I can't use those. I know Duo and a few of the others um, have latex in them, and I can't use them. So if you guys know of any eyelash glues or eyelash adhesives that are latex free, could you like leave a comment and tell me what they are? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Showing that rawhide who's boss? <laughs>